when you don't have big armies, you have to be very flexible and, 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 and clever, yeah. It was beautiful. Everything was very complex. So for commandos, first challenge, commandos one and two has always been putting together a team that could make a game. And then the second challenge, obviously, is making games that were innovating. I mean, innovation as a risk. I mean, doing something that nobody has done before. We started experimenting with the units, with having unique skills, unique abilities, each of these other units. And to be fair, I mean, it was quite, it was a lot of uncertainty until we tested the game for the first time. And obviously not the game, but just a little bit of gameplay after one year on development, which was quite of a liberation. I mean, seeing that the whole thing was working. Commandos is part of my life. It was really, I mean, a dream that, that became true. I mean, uh, making a game with all difficulties, I mean, gathering the money to make a, a game that back then it was a low budget game. Games we've always tried to do have always been like very strategic, but strategic in sense of a military strategy, not the concept of what a strategy is understood to be on video games. When we talk about games, talking about a strategy is about building. And in the real world, I mean, war has an element of building things. But when people are thinking about Hannibal or Julius Caesar or Napoleon or Rommel or Montgomery, or they're never thinking about that the big skills is logistics or even building. The two biggest goals we wanted to achieve with Pretorians was First was making a game that was a 3D strategy game, and second, making it with complex units where you could have versatility and they, they could have more than one way of being used. We could have been sitting on commandos without doing anything for the next 20 years. So I think if we're doing this now with Calypso, it's because we think that Calypso can do a good job and uh, being loyal to heritage and, and, and what commandos means for a lot of people.